So, I want to see something. I want to see how long it takes for me to do a simple task with PowerShell on a Windows system versus doing the same thing with Ansible. Okay, so let's have a look at this Windows system. My Windows system here is fresh, just been deployed. The only thing I've done is I've configured WinRM so I can talk to my automation platform, right? So the one thing that I have here is I do have a PowerShell script which I've put together. This is a very simple PowerShell script and we're going to execute this. Now, this PowerShell script is basically just going to configure, you know, the web service with a basic web page. And we'll do the same thing with Ansible, just so that the tasks are similar. Now, I'm going to fast forward this a little bit, but you can see the script. In, and just like what I said, right, we're doing really basic stuff. I'm enabling the service. I'm creating a web page. I'm starting the service. Nothing too complex. Now, I want to run this, and I'm going to do a similar thing with Ansible so I can compare what the times... Uh, say right I want to see how long it takes me to do this with Ansible versus native on, on PowerShell so we're nearly done here we can see 92% this is going to end pretty quickly and uh, then we're going to test to see if you know everything took place right so I think we're done let's go and have a look quickly so that took me what just over a minute not bad at all let's go have a look at my server manager and there we go we have IIS so IIS has popped up and we go straight to the page we can see that that's been configured no problem and that's all working now let's go over to my controller now my controller i've got a very similar playbook right this playbook is also going to be deploying iis making sure that service is running and ultimately dumping a website right so we can see what's happening so the one thing here is a we're running remotely because remember we're running from our controller across to the windows system and doing the work so if we have a look at the playbook again you can have a you can have a look here you can see we're using certified content right our windows collection but we're only really using three tasks to do this so pretty simple compared to that uh, powershell script which is also very simple and um, the one thing i'm going to be doing here in this this template is actually working against three systems because i had them available and why not so we're deploying iis we're starting that services we're putting the uh, web pages where they need to be and then we can compare right so there we go we've completed and this is now in 59 seconds so that's not bad at all right so slightly quicker let's go and actually check this node so this is my server number five if i go into my uh, server manager here we can see that iis is there so that's cool and let's go and check uh, to see the local host there we go we have the local host page there as well so that's all worked we're done right but now what about scale so here's my other controller and this is looking at 40 hosts but the key thing here is if you notice in my inventory i have three locations i have cape town i got frankfurt and i've got oregon in the us okay you can see i've got a number of servers in each area so we're going to be using a technology here which allows us to scale called uh, automation mesh so if i have a look here at my uh, topology you can see here through this topology that i have my controller centrally and then I have these what we call execution nodes, right? So if you wanted to scale your automation, you know, you could run your, your control central and you could have execution nodes wherever you want around the globe. So, you know, this is all dealing with different cloud environments, etc. So so this is all talking to different areas and I'm driving everything from my controller in Cape Town, right? So this is cool. So let's go and add that template, right? We have the same template that we've been testing with. We're going to put it into this controller and then we are going to go and trigger a job. And I think, you know, maybe uh, we'll see where we're going, but I think uh, let's go and actually do this in, in Frankfurt, right? So we're going to be connecting to our systems in Germany and ultimately triggering all of that. So I'm going to choose my, my production inventory. There we go. Now let's go grab my project choose the execution environment remember we need this and then we're going to choose our deployment playbook let me add the credentials and we we're almost ready to go the last thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to tag this template so i know that i'm talking to frankfurt um, and then we can go and launch it and let's see how long this takes okay so now we're launching uh where is it there we go okay we've launched and now remember what are we doing here we're using our controller that sits in cape town to securely connect to remote execution nodes and then let them do the work wherever they are around the world, right? So this is awesome for, you know, if you just wanted to have a, an isolated environment um, or different cloud environments, different locations, you can still manage and control everything centrally, right? And it's secure. So this is great, right? So this is what we're doing. 
So we're automating across the world. Now I'm really curious to see how long it takes to do the same task, but now across multiple servers in a different region of the world through this automation mesh technology um, and see how that handles at scale, right? Okay, so we're busy installing still. If we have a look, okay, we're starting to do some stuff. So some nodes are already reporting that they've changed. Okay, let's refresh it. Okay, so we got services going and now we're nearly done. And let's see. Okay, so slightly over two minutes if we look at the start and the completion time and we've automated across the world our Windows systems with a single platform. Now that's how you automate Windows at scale. 